everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome to my living room and fireplace <laughs> this is Rachel Ray and tonight we are working on the daughter of peace sorry you couldn't see her face <laughs> it was kind of weird this is a diamond art club painting uh, which I've had in my stash and currently been working on it for months. Um, it is a 42 by 125. Oy! It has 52 colors. You see how long it is. I've gotten a good chunk of it done. But tonight we are going to be working. Oh, oh it's caught in my sock again. This is not the first time. Okay. Um, we are going to be working on her tonight. And I'm working on the three tens at the minute, but I kind of want to work on those pinks as well. We'll see how far we get and what all we talk about. Um, let me just have a sip of water. I apologize about my voice. I have literally filmed this video three times. Three. And the reason I keep failing on it is because... There's a lot going on in my little life right now, so um, if you want to grab something to work on, and uh, hopefully you can enjoy the crackling fire with me as I work on this diamond painting. I'm going to try to zoom you out a bit, apologies, so you can kind of see what's, what's happening over there as well. Um, I don't think Luna's going to make an appearance tonight. She's on she's on guard duty. <laughs> but at least we can we can work on it together. And I want to tell you about a few changes that are happening in my little crafty world today. So, I think I talked about this a little bit before, but I didn't realize the extent that it was going to hit me until a few days ago so it was a good it was a good week it really was and it was a good weekend um and i did buy a few things for cyber monday but you will see them soon um soon enough i didn't mean to but i did it and um anyway that's not why i wanted to talk to you today um it's about it's about things like Etsy and Patreon, things that support my channel and the things that I do, my hobbies, my spending habits sometimes, and my ability to upgrade things for to make videos for everyone watching. First, before I get into that, because it is a little bit long-winded, I just want to say thank you very much to everybody who has decided to subscribe and stick around and enjoys the videos. I appreciate all of you. And we're only a few people away from 6,000. Maybe by the time I put this up, we will have hit 6,000 people, subscribers to this little channel. So thank you. Thank you for being awesome. Um, thank you for, for choosing to watch my channel and I don't know what possessed you but thank you thank you for sticking here I really enjoy communicating with everybody I like hearing what you have to say and getting your feedback on things and enjoying you know sharing my life with you I, I do I really do and sometimes sometimes there are things that I want to talk about and I if you've been here for a while then you know me, you know the way that I kind of react to things, and I don't like to, I don't like to start with money, but um, I'm gonna, and just hear me out, because this is happening because it's Christmas, okay? It's Christmas, everybody's buying stuff, and I have some really, really awesome things that are about to hit my shop. But this is going to be the last time that I stock my shop with things to buy uh, for for diamond painting. It's my last order of diamond painting pens. It's the last time that I buy needle 
minders or cover minders. It's, it's, that's it. This is going to be it. Um, I have had some really difficult times trying to source things and whatever, and that's, that's normal stuff, you know. I don't want to complain about that. You know, trying to find the right, the right person to sell you the right quality of stuff for your own shop is as difficult as finding the thing that you want to buy from somebody else's shop sometimes, you know. My point is, is that uh, the United States government has just implemented a new customs law, which went into effect about a week ago. And I did talk about this in a live, I believe, or maybe in my last video, I talked about it a little bit. But it is a it's going to affect me very much. And all of the people who like to purchase from me who live in America, it is going to affect them going forward. And I want to say, I'm sorry, because this is one thing that I really enjoy doing. It's something that I I love and I take pride in the way that I package my things in my shop. I love picking out what sweets I'm going to include in every package. I like writing little thank yous. I have business cards and special Christmas envelopes for all needle minders. I have you know, it's th it's something that I have invested a lot of energy and thought into. It's not just how can I make a quick buck and how can I turn this around and, and see profit or, you know, something like that. I don't think of it that way, you know, and I'm sure that a lot of you do know. Um, and if there's, you know, haters, I don't really care about that. But that's I'm not talking to them right now. I'm talking to you. I can't. I can't keep going after this because it has, it's impacted my ability and my time in order to send out these packages. It's taking five, almost six times longer to send a package than it ever did before. Um, and it means that my processing time has gone way up through the roof and um, and I don't want it to be that way. I don't want people to wait for something that they've purchased. You know, it's something I want to, you put in the order, I have the order printed, packed, and sent in three days. That's how it always was, you know. And if it was, if you purchased it on a Friday and it was the afternoon, I'd have it out first thing on Monday always like that have been since I first started and now it takes upwards of 45 minutes to send five orders so it's not as simple as me going in before work dropping off 15 packages buying uh, stamps for 15 packages of a similar weight and putting them on myself and dropping them in the box. That's not the way it is anymore. Unfortunately. Uh, every, every single packet to the U.S. is taking a lot longer um, to process. It's stressing out my post office workers, but it's also stressing me out as well because... I'm empathetic, okay, to a fault, and I know it's not something that I should have to worry about, and they always tell me, you know, it's okay, it's fine, I know it's a pain, but, like, you know, it's not your fault, it's not like you made this law, and I keep reminding myself that, but it's also, it's a side, like, you know, Etsy, Etsy is a small, a side business for me, it's not... It's not my primary source of income, and it's very difficult for me to become a business owner here anyway, you know what I mean? If I did own a business and I was selling a certain amount, then 
I could do it, you know, I don't know. It, it's just, it's very complicated. I've thought about this through and through. And the only solution that I can come up with it that makes logical sense is that after this, after these items, which I will have put up in my shop very, very soon, as soon as they are gone, they are gone. And it feels really unfair, but I have been loving selling on Etsy. I've been loving packaging orders and uh, communicating with people and seeing their reactions when they open the order. I've been really, really enjoying that. It would be unfair of me to suddenly stop selling to the United States, even though I'd be fully within my rights, I believe, um, to have a clause of, you know, not selling to America because it's difficult. I don't know if other shops will be doing that as well or, you know, what the story is. But basically anything U.S. bound is having very strict customs orders and it's causing a lot of problems for me in my life. So I'm sorry to start it off this way. I have started this video so many times and I don't know how to say it any other way, but I'm going to have to stop my Etsy shop. And I'm really sad about it. So that's on my mind tonight, you guys. Also, another thing that has been weighing on me, and my Patreon supporters know this already, but I am going to stop the tears. Tears, haha. Not like crying tears. Like, um, you know how there's... Oops, sorry. Wow, my fireplace is popping like mad. I had different options with different benefits. And I'm no longer going to be able to provide those benefits. There will no longer be those glitter bomb packages where I curate a box every month to send to people. I just, um, I love it. I love, I love sourcing this stuff. I like thinking about what I'm going to put in the box and ordering things in advance. And I love that stuff. Like I would love to have my own subscription box service company, you know, I'd love to do that kind of stuff. I really enjoy it. But because this is coming into effect, I also like, you know, I, I've, I said it to them before, you know, it is stressful. It is really stressful and it's keeping me from having the time to do videos. But if I just, I could just make it simple and have Patreon be just a donation service. At the moment, I feel that it's the best thing I can do. So if you were thinking of donating to my channel, it will, as of this video being posted, will be changed to, to be donate what you wish every month instead of having a benefit. However, anyone who donates to my Patreon will be included in that end video, you know, I will, I will try to thank everybody as quickly as I possibly can after they sign up with Patreon. It's the least I could do for your patronage. Literally the least that I could possibly do. Um, because I really do appreciate it. It is not necessary. Nothing, you know, when people send me things in the mail, I feel guilty. And people comment and say, don't feel guilty. But I do sometimes, you know. I don't want anyone to feel that I'm asking for anything or trying to take advantage. I really don't 
I, I, yeah. So anyway, um, cause I have, I have tried to think of ways to say this and I know it comes off as rushed, but I'm, I'm crushed. I don't want to stop my Etsy because I really do love it. So I've had, I've had ample time to like brainstorm. What am I going to do? Well, obviously I'm going to, I'm going to try to sell all the stock that I have left in my shop. I won't order any new stuff in, but I will have, everything will drop on the same day so that if you want to order multiple items, I could put them all in the bag together. You won't have to pay shipping multiple times because I do have a lot of beautiful people out there who buy every time that I put something up and I just thank you so much, you know? Thank you for constantly supporting me. I really appreciate it. But there, there's just, it, it would be totally unfair of me to only keep it open to people who live in Europe or who pe people who are in Europe and Australia or Canada, but not send to the U.S. when the U.S. is, you know, a good majority of who watch my channel so therefore I'm going to shut down my Etsy once I, well, not shut down my Etsy, excuse me. I'm going to stop selling physical items on Etsy. I have ideas of other things that I can sell via Etsy, um, which can be downloadable, but that's, that's more about that in the future. We'll talk about that some other day. Um, it's, it's all just spinning in my head right now. And that's kind of, it's what's been on my mind the most lately because it's the one thing that, yeah, I, I spend quite a bit of my time trying to think, you know, oh, what, what would be good to give people who watch me and people who stumble into my shop? What are things that they want? You know, and how are things going today? And, you know, and just to have it all taken away from you that quickly. I thought it would be next year or, you know, something like that. I didn't expect it before Christmas when everybody is sending everything in the post. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, ABs, look how shiny they are. I'm going to bring you down or zoom you in. Oh, my fire is not wanting to cooperate either. You see how beautiful and metallic and shiny they are. Anyway, I'm sorry. I know this video is probably... I've tried so many times, you guys, and I feel like I'm going to cry because of how frustrated I am about it. But that's not helpful either, so <laughs> I won't be doing that. But I just want you to know that it wasn't an easy decision. I can't stop right away because I would like to at least recoup some of the cost of what I've paid for the items that I've wanted to put in my shop and to stock the shop for Christmas. But obviously, if you go... Oh, I missed some. If you go to the Etsy shop now... It's not, it won't be ready. It's going to be, it's going to be more like this weekend or the beginning of next week. I will update you via the community wall when it's all ready and everything's been posted there, but it's just, it's just sad to me that I have to do that. But hey, hey ho, that's the way life goes, right? You just have to roll with the punches. Um, let's do another AB. <laughs> I hope everybody's okay. Uh, and I hope that you, you have had a great start to your week. I had the last two days off, so that's probably why I've had a lot of time to think, to sit with myself and think about this kind of stuff, you know? So, um, I 
other than that, other than those things, I have done really, really well this week. Um, and I really enjoyed having two days off in a row. You have no idea. It's just, it's just so relaxing. Now I do have to go back to work tomorrow. First thing in the morning, 7.15 a.m. Be there, get everything ready. The center opens at 7.30 in the morning. And Wednesdays, we have an aqua fit class, which is where you kind of do water aerobics. So much fun. That happens at 10 in the morning. So it'll be nice to see the ladies again. And I'm going to invite them to come to something that I'm going to be a part of, which is also really exciting. Good things are happening. <laughs> I don't want anybody to think that they aren't, but I'm going to invite them. I have an arts and crafts fair that I'm going to be a part of on the 12th, I believe it is, that Saturday. And I just need to move my light pad over to the side. There we go. And we're going to all the ABs all at once. These are pink ones. Can you see them? There we go. So cool. Um, I was invited to go to an arts and crafts fair in my town for Christmas. So I will be bringing some finished pieces. I'll be diamond painting while I'm there as well and kind of sharing this craft with other people. I'm so excited to do that. I really am. It's going to be a little bit, what's the word, exposing? I've been, I've been kind of hiding out in my house for a while, you know? I've been doing YouTube full time, working full time and not going out, you know? So people are curious and I know that they're going to ask questions and it's going to slip and they're going to find out that I do YouTube. So hello to the people. <laughs> um, but at this point, like I have to get over it. It's just really awkward in a way. Do you know what I mean? I don't know if anybody knows what I mean. If you're a creator, you might understand what I mean. But... I digress. I am excited to do it because who knows what could happen. It could go really well or it could tank, it, but it doesn't matter. It's an, it's a morning and afternoon of diamond painting, first and foremost, in public. And I get to talk about diamond painting all day. I think it's going to be awesome. <laughs> I think it's going to be great. So... I am looking forward to it. And I'm going to try to get a stall next to one of my best, best, best friends of all time. He makes lanterns out of glass. And he does not have a website. You have to buy directly from him. Um, I won't be able to do it in this video, but maybe in the next video if he allows me to. I could just send you, share pictures with you or share his Facebook page with you, but I will have to ask his permission first. I don't want him to get flooded. He's not, I mean, while he does do the internet, um, it's more of a hands-on business, you know. I think that's all the ABs that we have in that section. I'm just going to keep working on her dress because it's pretty. Uh... So yeah, and so I'll spend the day with him, we'll uh, do that, and then if I don't have to work that night, because I have been monopolizing Sunday night, Saturday nights to um, do my live stream, if I don't have to work, if they give me the day off, then I will go live. Now that's not next weekend, that's the weekend after. So we have time, and I'll let you know. I'll try to let you know well in advance. Because one thing that I've wanted to, to get done this year is to be consistent. And that's one of the reasons why I'm so gutted about Etsy. So, um, and it's something that I have invested a lot of money and time into. You know what I mean? With 
the way that I pack things and everything. Oh my God, I love packing them, you know, like that's my favorite part. <laughs> so anyway, anyway, I get out of that topic. I'm so sorry. I'm not restarting this again. So whatever makes it into this video, you're going to get it. You're going to hear it. Uh, and the fire is really dying now. What am I going to do? I might have to get some more coal. I'm sorry, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Fire is up again. <laughs> um, there are a few more things uh, that I really want to talk about that should brighten the mood a bit. I just I really had to get that off my chest. And like, yeah, the third time that I said it, I was just like, let's just get this over with. Um, the best thing that happened this week is that I finished my unicorn. You guys, I finished my Victoria's Moon unicorn. Oh, finally. You have no idea how excited I am that that is done and dusted and that I'm now working on my other whips because I don't remember when I started it or when I said it, uh, but I promised myself that I wouldn't work on anything but that damn unicorn until it was finished because... It was taking me so long to get it done. Now, I'll let you know in the post review when it was sent to me and all that and when I started working on it because I can't remember. I can't remember those little details. Um, but let me just move this up a little bit. That kind of jiggled around when I when I moved. Um, I can't I can't remember all that stuff off the top of my head. It just that kind of information doesn't stick. But um, all I do remember is that I said, right, I'm putting away my custom of Luna. I'm putting away my princess diamond painting from Diamond Art Club, putting away my Treasure Studios art collaboration piece that I was doing with Diamond Art Addiction, put that away. Um, I de-kitted quite a lot and, you know, because I had had other diamond paintings worked up and I said, nope. I'm not going to stop until I finish this dang um unicorn and I did it. I finished it today and I meant to have it finished last week, but you know how when you have to, when you feel like you have to force yourself to finish something, it takes way longer than you anticipated. Yep. So you can only imagine how that went and what that experience was like. I'm going to have to put a warning in front of that video and people are not going to like it. I'm going to get so many thumbs down and you know what? I don't even care. Oh, I was thinking about that. I was wondering, I've seen that there are channels out there where they don't display the likes and dislikes. I wonder if that, do you prefer that or do you like, as a, as a viewer, do you like seeing the likes and dislikes and the number or do you not care and like, you know, that doesn't really phase you either way. Um, I'm just curious because there is a part of me that thinks it could be used as, you know, for some people, it could be used as bragging rights. Not not me, obviously, but uh, the dislikes kind of, they don't get to me. It just, it just confuses me. And I have a theory. I have a theory that people won't dislike a video if the dislike isn't public. You know what I mean? Like if, if people can't see that you've disliked the video, would you dislike the video? But then again, if I dislike a video, I just move on. I just click away. <laughs> I don't get it. Anyway, um, other diamond painting news. So yeah, so this, this diamond painting and my custom of Luna and then the super secret project that I'm working on in the background. I haven't told you which diamond painting it is, but I am working on a time lapse of completing from start to finish one diamond painting. That's all I'm doing. It's just one from start to finish, which is taking a lot longer than I anticipated, but that's probably a good thing because <laughs> you guys yesterday, I recorded the first chapter 
of a Christmas story that I'll be reading for you all later on in the month. If you didn't know about it, um, I, I will be also participating in the Countdown to Christmas storybook uh, event. So right now it is Dearly Crafted who is reading for us. She's been reading The Nutcracker and I have a story that I'll be reading as well, but it is a very long story. <laughs> and I didn't realize how long it was until it took me an hour to read the first chapter. So uh, it could be that my whole week turns into this one book. I don't know. I don't know yet. We'll see. So I apologize in advance, but I'm having a lot of fun with it. Uh, I love dramatized reading. I love... Um, I loved being in musicals when I was younger and acting and, you know, voice acting and all that kind of stuff. Now, I'm no professional, not even a little bit, but I am having so much fun with it. So I hope you enjoy it. Uh, it's often these side projects that don't get all the attention that I feel that they should. And that was another reason why in the next year... I think that, you know, unboxings shouldn't be as popular on my channel as they are. So I will be working on other projects that I hope people will anticipate and love and click on straight away just as much as they do an unboxing or a whip and chat. I hope I haven't scared you away. If you're new here, I hope I haven't scared you away. I promise it's more like day to day stuff, but you know, I, I am a serious person and I talk about serious stuff and I'm not going to apologize for who I am. It's just the way my brain is. And also, you know, mm, I'm really clumsy. <laughs> like, I don't have stories about cute kids. I have stories of accidents and I don't know what I did. Okay, we're going to, we're going to go into a little make fun of Rachel moment or pity her. I don't know. Um, I don't know what I did on Friday night. I really don't uh, because I went out for a friend's birthday. And you can only imagine uh, how that ended. But I came home around midnight and I went to bed shortly after. I woke up with a sore jaw. Now, my husband told me that I was possessed that night, like literally like rolling my eyes and saying really weird words that didn't make any cohesive sense um, and freaked him out to the point where he told me multiple times without laughing that he thought that I was actually genuinely possessed. Um, scary. Very scary. Uh, don't know how that happened. I'm starting to believe it could have been something I ate or something that disturbed my normal human self I don't even know but it's freaked me out because now my jaw hurts and it's not just from reading the story it feels like it got dislocated somehow uh so yeah uh these things tend to happen to me <laughs> like do you know anybody or are you yourself someone who happens to like blink twice and get a bruise what is that about? Why? And then, and then, okay. And then, so Luna and I go walking to the park um, pretty much every day, especially when it's nice and bright out. And I love going there. Um, and something recently has happened, which um, has made me not want to go there as much anymore, but I can't really talk about that. Um, anyway, it's, it's no big deal. But, um, I, it's like they, they decided to do construction and they changed, they, they tore up the sides of the road and, you know, there's cones and stuff to keep traffic away, but they tore up the road and now there are like these little holes. And of course I'm like... Well, I haven't, I haven't twisted my ankle yet, but I have tripped up, like tripped, completely tripped up on myself and been like, what on earth is happening? Cause yeah, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not exactly like 
the mo I like to think that I'm a very, you know, elegant and graceful person. No, nope, not even like, I'll be like, oh, I'm all cool and collected. And then the next minute I'm face down on the floor. That's, that's me. That's, that's me. I'm sorry. If I embarrass you at a function, yeah. Speaking of functions, okay. This is inevitable as well. Where are we? Okay, we still have time. Did I see? Is this a new clip? This isn't a new clip. If this is a new clip, I'm really sorry. The retreat. So if you're new here, hi. Um, I'm having a diamond painting retreat next year in the hotel near, in my town, uh, in Ireland. You're welcome to start your own diamond painting retreat. That's fine. Um, I'd love to go. <laughs> I'd love to go. Um, if you're having a guest or something and if you want to pay my way. No, I'm just joking. I'm half joking. Um, no, but I'm I'm holding a retreat next year uh, on September, the weekend of September the 11th. And it it's the best time of year to come to Ireland and I will have more details on it and a, you know, sign up sheet for more information type thing. I have a link actually down below. Oh my gosh, come off the painting. Hold on guys. No, I don't have my tweezers. My dog's hair is just there. And I can't get it because I don't have any nails. That is, it's so annoying guys. I hate not having fingernails. Anyway. It's just going to drive me bananas. Um, point being that if you're, if you would be interested in traveling abroad for a diamond painting retreat, it's just basically a get together. Okay. It's, it's nothing, it's nothing huge. There's no, it's not a convention or something. Oh my God. I could not do that on my own, you know? Please don't put that pressure on me. I can't, I can't handle that kind of pressure. Um, <clears throat> no, uh, it's going to be a nice small event where, you know, there might be 20 rooms. So 20, not 20 people, but maybe more like 40 people. Um, but the, oh, that's very bright now. Can I change it a little bit? Sorry, y'all. Oh, that's better. Okay. And it's not my face either. So I apologize if you can't see as well, but hopefully you're just diamond painting as well. Um, or crafting or whatever you're doing. It's, it's more of like we spend a weekend together and craft. Okay. That's in, I'm trying to keep the expectations and realistic. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So if you're interested in a weekend in my town where you can meet me and maybe other YouTubers, I don't know who all would be coming. I do know there are a few people who are definitely coming, but it'll just be kind of like one of those sit down and get to know each other better type things uh, where we all have a table to stretch out and diamond paint away for the day and then at night chill out, listen to music, and maybe have day trips um, to do something or see something in my town or not. You know, it, whatever. We're there to get to know each other. But by the third day, we might be sick of each other. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> Introverts, unite! No, but um. anyway, that is, it is going to happen. But again, because of something that is going down, in my personal life, which don't worry, I'm not getting a divorce or anything like that. Um, though my husband might divorce me by the time he sees that box, uh, which is why I had it sent to my work address. Didn't tell you that this time. Um, yeah, no, it's nothing like that. It's just once everything is settled, I will start getting details, booking rooms or reserving rooms and giving people information on airports and transportation and stuff like that. We're very far away from the transportation part, but I understand that people want to book hotels as soon as possible. That could be someone's Christmas gift from their spouse or something. So I'm, I'm on it. I know 
I'm trying my best, but I cannot rush this. Um, I won't rush it for fear of messing something up either. And I need to make sure that my workplace is going to be ready for the response as well. You know, I don't expect there to be like, you know, the kind of flood that there would be if you found out that Jeffree Star was going to be in your area. Jeffree Star is not coming to this diamond painting event. Jeffree Star has not been, <laughs> get all the legalities out of the way. No, I'm, I'm not saying that. But you know what I mean? I want them to be ready as well. And I need everything to be settled and before, before I go making promises, because the ideas are amazing. My boss is amazing and has great plans and ideas. And she loves every bit of this as much as I do. Well, maybe not as much as I do, but clear, close enough. Um, she loves it and she wants it to happen. So it, it will happen one way or another. I'll put it this way. That fire does not want to stay lit tonight. And I'm in charge of keeping it lit. What time is it? Sorry, y'all. One second. Well, it goes that way. Oh, it's 9.30. I'm going to have to start wrapping you up. Let's pick one more color. I'm going to turn you down a little bit. Let's do... One more thing. Where does this one go? Why can I never find... Oh, there we go. It's like a depth perception thing with these Doris containers, isn't it? And now it's really hard to see, is it? Or not? No, it's fine. Okay. We're going to do A because it's a really, really bright yellow, nice, happy yellow color. I am really looking forward to this retreat. It is the one thing that I am just giddy for. I want to meet people and I want to have a great time with you all. I like hosting events and, you know, doing stuff and bringing people together. It's just, it's just really fun. It's like Thanksgiving, you know, for me. So, and because I don't get to celebrate Thanksgiving, it probably will be. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I know it's not for everybody and I know that, you know, if, if everybody could come, that would be even better. We will be live streaming from this event, so if you can't attend, at least you can attend virtually. Um, that would be fantastic. And I won't forget about you guys, because you all help, too. You do, even if you can't be there. We're like family, you know? Family sticks together. So guys, I'm going to start to wrap this up because I know my husband is going to call me and ask me about dinner, even though I told him what I would like to have for dinner already. He's probably going to call me and ask me again. I just want to say thank you for listening to me um, because I know that this was probably difficult to listen to, especially the first part. Um, it's not for everybody, but I consider you all to be friends and quite a lot of you are. Um, and a few of you are really good friends and I'm really thankful that I have you all. And I should have said that last week, but I'm really glad and really thankful that I have you in my life and that you are helping me strive to be a better person simply by watching my videos. It's, it's so important that you know that. So thank you. And Hopefully next week will be a little bit lighter. <laughs> I'm going to try to be better at remembering to write things down as they happen. Funny things, interesting things, uh, Irishy things, weird kind of translation problems. I want to include more of that in my videos. I know I've been very down in the last few because of this whole COPPA thing and whatever, but that's not who I am. I don't want to, I don't want to be that. I don't want to be Moni, you know, and I don't want to bring you down because this is your time to relax too. So guys, thank you for being awesome, being here, 
listening to me ramble on and on and on. I'm so happy to finally be able to bring you a diamond painting whip and chat that I love the diamond painting. I'm enjoying every moment of it. And I hope that you are too. I hope you are having a fun time with whatever project you're working on right now. And if you want to let me know down below what project that is, I would love to hear about it. Um, I'm going to link everything I've used in this video down below, as I always do. Uh, and going forward, um, just, you know, it's, I, I am going to say it's a difficult time of year for me and my husband and our family here, but we're going to make the most, best of it. And I'm just going to try to count my blessings and yeah, just, yeah. Thank you all very, very much for spending your time with me. And I hope you have an amazing week. I will see you all very soon. I will see you on Saturday for the live stream. I'll see you tomorrow for a very special, very special episode of a segment that may or may not feature on this channel because I already confuse the heck out of some people by being Rachel Ray, not with a Y, if that gives you an inkling. Uh, and I will have that post review up by this weekend for the Victoria's Moon canvas. We will have Floss Tube Friday, live stream Saturday, Sunday's my day off, and Monday, you're going to see the replacement canvas that Victoria's Moon sent me. Brace yourselves. Anyway, thank you all so very much for being here, and I will see you all very soon. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Take care, everybody. 